I should do another story while I'm sitting here. Why not? Let's see. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a cricket. And this cricket was named Creaky. His name his name was Creaky. Now, for some of you Disney fans, you might think that you might be thinking of a certain movie called Mulan where the cricket is named Creaky. This isn't the same cricket. This is his um second cousin twice removed, who lives in New York, and Creaky lives at a pond. He chirps, but he doesn't chirp like crickets normally should. He, um, he chirps every single time he chirps, he is basically chirping the tune to happy birthday. So... This pond, the Creaky the second at this pond is um chirping happy birthday every single time he has to chirp. So people who walk up to this pond and hear a cricket singing happy birthday are just like, whoa, that's so cool. And Cricky, you would think that Cricky would think this amazing talent is awesome because it gets him recognized, but no. He doesn't like being famous. He he just wants to be left alone. Leave the poor Cricky alone, he says. Why can't I just be left alone? Instead of having all these people come up to my pond and film me with their phones. I don't want that. I want I don't I wanna be a normal cricket that chirps normally instead of chirping happy birthday. So what was Cricky to do? He had his paparazzi following him around wherever he went. He even tried going to a different, relocating to a different pond. He, the witness relocation program for crickets tried relocating him a hundred times, but the paparazzi still found him. What was he to do? He didn't want to be this famous cricket that was plastered all over the internet. He just, he wanted, to be left alone in peace and quiet. So, Creaky decided that the there was only one thing left to do. He only had one choice if he wanted to become unfamous. So, he had to go to a very far away place called Falapalapagus. <laughs> Magisagus. Falapalapagusimissimus. And the trip there was very treacherous. He had to cross roads. He had to be, avoid being eaten by probably five or six frogs. And then there were toads. He lost a leg or two on the way there. So, he was kind of bruised, and he arrived there at Flopagopimus, and he had to go to the Flopagop Fairy Godmother, the Flopamary, the Flopamary Mother, Fairy Mother, the Flopa Fairy Mother. He had to go to her, and he did. He got there. He was bruised and his two of his legs were gone. He asked the fairy mother if he could if she could remove his special ability to chirp happy birthday. So he could just become a normal cricket like everybody else and then he wouldn't have to have people following him around following him around and plastering him all over the internet. So he's like he asks, Falapa Fairy Mother, can you please remove this happy birthday chirping that I have so then 
I don't. How to be followed around by paparazzi. The Falapa fairy mother who tells him, Child! I don't, you don't need me to remove! Make it, I'll be okay. I think. <coughs> okay. <sighs> so the fair, the falafel fairy mother's like, child, you don't need me to remove your. Ow! Your happy birthday chirping. You, 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 you don't need me to remove that to be a normal cricket. For you, that is normal. Mother, I feel mis miserable with this talent. I just want this gone so I can be happy, like every other cricket there is in the world. And the falafel fairy mother says, Child, do you want to know why you've been so miserable? Do you want to know why your life has been miserable all this time? Because you have been running away from your talent when you should have embraced it from the beginning. Embrace your talent. It makes you so, Cricky the second left Falapagopal to miss and the Falapa fairy mother with a new purpose. He took the Falapa fairy mother's words to heart. She was right. He had been running away from his talent when he should have embraced it since the beginning. <coughs> so, I guess the... The moral of this story is if you have a unique talent and you don't really think it's all that cool, chances are somebody out there does think it's cool. And you should just keep doing it because you're you and you don't need to be like anybody else. There's nobody else in the world like you and you should not have to copy anybody else in the world. You are you and you should be you. That and you should eat pickles. I have a strange craving for pickles right now, and I really wish I could go get some. Pickles! You know, I hope you guys like the story, and that's all I got. Oh, but before I go, I want to give out a special shout out to one of my BF, to one of my friends, Sarah Nicole Miller. Who also has a YouTube channel that I think you should check out. It's really cool. I'll put a link down in the description. But yesterday was her 24th birthday. So I'm giving you a special shout out, Sarah. Cause I love you. And you're my buddy and you're awesome. Until next week, this is HGS Studios, signing out.